low impact leg workout. So no jumping. We're going to stay on the floor for the majority of the time. So if you've got like ankle weights or something of that sort, you can put those on. Do you have ankle weights, Barry? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to use them because I'm having knee problems right now. Um, especially with your foot, I think it's probably best you don't add extra weight because the resistance okay. will be <laughs> plenty. Okay. But if you've got ankle weights, Angela, I don't know if you do. Do you? Uh -huh. You can put them on your ankles now, okay? And then we're gonna come down to the floor. Oh, ankle weights. Yes. Uh, you can upstairs somewhere. Okay. So, uh, not not necessary. My oh. Somewhere. I think they're upstairs. Vintage. <laughs> okay, ladies, we're actually gonna start in a downward dog. So hands on the floor, hips back. Melinda, you can do this from a, this is called a dolphin in yoga, but you can do this from your forearms and your elbows. And if anyone's having wrist problems, you can do this from your elbows. We're going to extend one leg up, squeeze the glute, bring it back down, extend the other leg up, squeeze the glute. Okay. So we're just going to alternate lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Okay. So either from your hands or from your elbows. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Lift, squeeze the glute. Pressing those hips back so you should get a nice deep hamstring stretch on that bottom leg. Trying to keep the legs straight and the hips and toe square to the front, square to the ground. Lift and squeeze, good. Not a fast movement, nice and controlled. So as you lift, you're squeezing that top glute muscle. Lift and squeeze, nice. Keep the legs straight. We've got five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. Come all the way down to your knees, so like a tabletop position. We're gonna take our left forearm and put it down on the ground. Okay, so we're on our elbow of our left arm. And we're gonna keep that right hand on the floor just to prop us up for a little more support. Then we're gonna take our right leg, okay? Extend, so we're squeezing that back glute. Then we're gonna bring the knee, touch the knee to the ground. So we're kind of doing a diagonal motion. Squeeze back to the left, tap the ground with your knee, okay? Extend and tap. Here we go, three, two, and go. Extend it straight, squeeze the glute, tap the knee to the ground. So from this position, we're obviously targeting that glute, that right butt cheek, yes. that right leg, you should be feeling that fire up. But also, you wanna tuck the pelvis, pull the belly button into the spine so we're using the core as much as possible. Extend, squeeze. Tap that knee to the ground. Lift and up. Don't forget to squeeze that booty. Lift and squeeze. Tap. Lift and squeeze. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. We're just going to flip it over to the other side. So right arm, forearm is down. Left palm is kind of propping us up to stabilize us. Left leg goes. Squeeze to the back, tap that knee to the side. Lift and squeeze, it's on a diagonal trajectory. <laughs> Push it away, squeeze the glute, tap the knee. Working all kinds of ab muscles here too. So the obliques, the rectus abs, if you're pulling that belly button up and in, taking some of the pressure off that left glute muscle. You should be feeling that left booty though by now. Woo! Tap. Squeeze, nice and controlled. As we extend that leg back, we're flexing through the foot, kicking that foot away. Press away, beautiful. Three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. Okay, we're gonna come back to that first position. So whichever you prefer, you can be on your hands, or you can be on your elbows. 
but we're going to lift back up into like a downward dog position or a dolphin and then we're going to pulse so we're going to lift one leg up straight lift and pulse so we're squeezing that booty that top top glute the whole time here we go three two and go lift and pulse pulse so it's just a top couple inches lift and lower lift and squeeze keep that leg straight burning it out squeeze squeeze good work don't forget your breath good almost there 10 pulse 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 it out last five four three two and rest come on down shake those booties out good job other side pressing up to a down dog or a dolphin three two and go lift and pulse squeeze 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 that top leg that glute muscle that booty muscle flex it getting a deep stretch through the hamstring good work pulse squeeze nice job almost there 10 seconds then we're gonna come back down to tabletop last five four three two and rest good coming all the way down to your knees shake those wrists and shoulders out yeah Woo! booty should be awake by now okay <laughs> we're gonna come to tabletop so because we're on our wrists so much you can even come onto your fists that helps reinforce the wrist so you're not so um, strong on those joints there help stabilize those wrists so up to you we're gonna be in a tabletop we're going to circle and then kick straight out to the side one big hip circle extend the leg straight out from the hip okay three two and go hip circle kick good hip circle kick and it doesn't matter which direction you go because we're gonna switch directions halfway through <laughs> Good, kick it up. So lift that knee and then extend the leg. Three, two, and we're gonna switch directions of the circle. So if you went forward, go backward, vice versa. You can feel that booty burning of the leg that we're working, but also that stabilizer leg. So the leg that's on the ground seemingly not working. <laughs> is working very hard to stabilize us good last three two and rest nice job come off your wrist come off your shoulders shake it out shake those booties from side to side kind of recenter we're gonna do the other side so big hip circle leg kick here we go three two and go hip circle straight out to the side good hip circle kick it up big circle kick awesome three two and switch directions of that circle kick good work kick Feel that booty working, the inner and outer thighs, the core. Good, last three, two, and rest. Nice job, come up off your wrists, shake them out a little bit. Then we're gonna come back to our tabletop where we put our, let's put our right arm down, right forearm goes down, left hand is planted here to kind of stabilize us. Then we're gonna take, the left leg 
fire hydrant, pulse, okay? We're just gonna pulse it out. Yeah, everybody loves this one, right? Here we go. Three, two, and go. Fire hydrant, pulse. Lift, so it's that top, top half lift. Lift, pulse. Again, thinking about our abs. Pull the belly button into the spine. Lift, lift, pulse it out. We got this. Breathe. Nice work. Lift, lift, three, two, and rest. Good, shake those booties from side to side. Kind of recenter, recalibrate. Woo! Then we're gonna go to the other side. So left arm down, right hand plants, fire hydrant lift with the right leg. Three, two, and go. Lift, lift, pulse it out. Try to keep that knee up nice and high at least hip level. Good work. Lift, lift. Woo. Nice job. Breathe and squeeze. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Come on up. Shake those wrists out. Nice work, guys. All right, last little, no, that might be a lie, nope. Yeah, last tabletop move, okay. <laughs> We're going down to both elbows, okay? Both elbows right under your shoulders. Then we're gonna take our left leg 90 degrees, okay? Knees at hip height, and then we're just pulsing straight up. Squeezing that glute, flexing the foot, squeezing straight toward the ceiling. Here we go, three, two, and go. 90 degree pulses, squeeze that booty. All the way up, pulse, pulse, pulse it up. Straight up, it's only 30 seconds, we got this. We're gonna be feeling those booties tomorrow. Lift and pulse, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't let it lower, keep it nice and high, keep it active, contracting the whole time. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Come down. Shake those hips side to side. Good work. Who's feeling that booty? Oh my goodness. Oh, me. Okay, good. At least I'm not the only one. Three, two, and right leg. Go. Straight to the ceiling. Pulse. 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 Good. Top half. Nice job. Just, it was very disclosing when I went outside earlier and, and did some unexpected bleeding. Oh, yeah. And little tiny pieces of outside keep falling off of me on my back. Really? So, <laughs> That's good. It's grounding. <laughs> grounding for you. You're one with nature. <laughs> good. Keep pulsing. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. Come on down. We're going to come down to a side plank this time. So we can be, there's a couple different options for a side plank. You can be on your knee, on that bottom knee, okay? We're going to use this top leg. Or you can stagger the legs, both feet on the ground, or you can stack the legs, okay? Up to you. I'm going to demonstrate it with the bottom knee on the ground. We're just going to lift Tap in front, lift, tap behind. Straight leg, lift and lower. Okay, trying to keep the hips up nice and high. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Straight leg tap. Tap, lift, tap. Awesome. It's only 30 seconds. Good work. Keep those hips high. We're working the obliques. I should have called this exercise or this uh, workout legs and abs. <laughs> We're doing a lot of core here. Good. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Flip it over. Other side. Woo! 
Booty is burning. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Left, top. Nice job, ladies. Squeeze that top leg. Beautiful. 10. Four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. Now we're just gonna go down into a child's pose. So feet together, toes together, knees wide. Stretch your arms nice and long, and we're just opening up through those hips, just trying to relax the lower back, the inner and outer thighs, and we're just going to breathe here for about a minute, relaxing those hips before we get into our next little circuit. Deep breaths. You can kind of wiggle side to side if that feels good, working through that hip mobility. Breathe about 15 more seconds here. Good, one last deep inhale. And then on your exhale, come back up. We're gonna do a little frog stretch before we get into our next little circuit. So if you've got a mat underneath of you, I would turn to the side so your knees are on the mat, but you're going to walk those knees out Nice and wide, or as wide as you can. Keep your feet in line with the knees, straight line, so we don't want them tucked in, okay? And then we're just gonna kind of rest down on those elbows, press back and down. So we're really stretching through that groin and through the inner thighs. We're just gonna breathe here for a minute. Stretching out those inner thighs, good. Just trying to relax into the pose so we can Passively open up those hips a little bit more <laughs> with the help of gravity. And we just breathe. Nice job, guys. Beautiful. 15 more seconds here. Try to sink a little bit deeper if you can. Good, one last big deep inhale. And then on your exhale, come back up. Good, okay, we're already on the floor. We're gonna just flip over onto our back. We're gonna do a little butterfly bridge. So feet together, knees wide, okay? And we're just gonna lie all the way back. And we're gonna do a glute bridge from this position. So upper body rests. We're gonna press through the heels, lift the hips as high as you can, squeeze and lower, okay? So pausing at the top each time. Here we go. Butterfly bridge, three, two, and go. So we're targeting a little bit of the outer, a little bit more outer glute here with this variation. Lift and squeeze, and lower, good. Nice job. Lift and squeeze. We're here for 45 seconds. We've got 20 left. Lift and squeeze. Nice job. So we're stretching those inner thighs, working those outer thighs, glute medius muscles, the outer side of the glute. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. Just hug your knees in and kind of rock side to side. A little bit. Good. Then we're going to do a little glute bridge march. So knees bent, feet flat on the floor. We're going to lift the hips and then we're going to single leg, knee drives to the chest, lower, other leg, lower. Okay. We're going to keep the hips up the whole time. Single legs drive to the chest. Three, two, and go. Lift, squeeze the booty. Try to get that knee all the way up. 
Good. Lift. Lower. Lift. Nice job. Also pulling that belly button into the spine. Good work, good work. Nice job, 10 seconds. Keep those hips high, don't let them drop. Three, two, and rest. Good job, ladies. Okay, we're gonna stand up, woo, for the first time in this workout. Find a wall, we're gonna do a wall sit, okay? So find a good space for you to do a little wall sit action. Um, if you don't have a wall, that's totally fine. We can just do like a squat hold. Oh, come on. Let's move this, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do a wall sit leg extension. So you're sitting parallel, legs are parallel to the ground. Then we're gonna alternate, extend one leg, lower. Extend the other leg, lower, okay? So everybody get that? Alternating leg extensions. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Well set. Leg extension. So pressing that lower back into the wall. Good work. Nice job. 20 seconds. Beautiful, last 10 seconds. If you can't extend those legs anymore, that's okay, just hold that wall sit. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. Come on up, shake those legs out. Woo! All right. Coming back down to the floor, single leg bridge. So just what it says, we're gonna hold one leg up. So you can either hold it up or you can cross it over in a figure four, up to you. But we're just gonna lift and lower, nice and slow and controlled, okay? Here we go. Three, two, and go. Lift and squeeze and lower. Good. Squeeze, really press through that heel. Lift those hips as high as you can. Nice. 20 seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good work. Last 10. Squeeze. Keep that hip up nice and high. Good, last three, two, and rest. Good, shake those legs out. Shake them from side to side. And then we switch legs. Here we go, three, two, and go. Press through that bottom heel, squeeze. And lower. Good work. Lift and squeeze, get them high, just as if you had both legs on the ground. Squeeze. Good work. Lift and squeeze, nice ladies. 15 seconds here. Good work. All the way up, squeeze, 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 pausing at the top. Good, last three, two, and rest. Nice job, shake those legs out. Give them a little wiggle side to side, a little windshield wiper action. Then we're gonna do a regular bridge. So, both heels on the ground. We're gonna go for 45 seconds, lift and lower. And then the last 30 seconds, we're gonna hold, okay? Lift and lower first. Here we go, three, two, and go. Lift and squeeze and lower. Feet are 
hip width apart, pressing through the heels. One of the best exercises we can do for the booty. Biggest muscles in our body. Good job, nice tempo. Squeeze, get that contraction. 10 seconds here. Good work, last three, two, and hold. So really pressing through the heels, lifting those hips up as high as you can, actively contracting the glutes. So squeezing those butt cheeks together like your life depended on it. <laughs> 15 seconds, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good work, almost there. Squeeze, last five, four, three, two, and rest, nice job, lower. Hug those knees in just to kind of stretch out those glutes. Hug them, rock it out side to side. Good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna come up to our, kind of like a side line position. So you can prop yourself up on your elbow, so elbow right under the shoulder, crossing the top leg, foot flat on the floor. So if I'm on my right elbow, your right leg is straight, your left leg crosses over, okay? or you can be all the way down, you can prop yourself up, up to you. And then we're gonna lift, lower. So that straight bottom leg is lifting straight up to the ceiling. Lift, lower, this is all inner thighs, adductor muscles. Three, two, and go. Lift and lower, nice. Lift and lower, good. This also helps the pelvic floor muscles, those adductors are tied into their pelvic floor. Oh, so important to keep those strong. Nice job, ladies. Lift. Try again to pause at the top. Lift it high, pause, and then lower. Nice, good job. So we're really getting that contraction. Beautiful. Almost done, ladies. 10. Breathe through it. We got this. Woo! Sometimes the smallest little moves burn the most. Good. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Shake that leg out. Woo! And then flip it over. Nice job, ladies. Almost done. All right. Other side. Straight leg lifts. Three, two, and go. Lift, pause at the top, lower. Lift, pause at the top, lower. Good. Straight up to the ceiling. Make sure you're not rocking backward or forward on that hip. Good work, good work. It's okay if you're shaking, that means your muscles are working hard, we're building that strength. Lift it high, lift it high. We've got one more move after this, then we're home free. Woo! Lift, squeeze, lower, nice job. Almost there, last five. Four, three, two, and rest, good, shake it out, good work. All right, last move, we're gonna be in a plank. So that could be a high plank or a low plank, it's up to you. We're just going to walk out the legs. So we're gonna lift and squeeze and lower, lift and squeeze and lower without changing the orientation of that back. So we wanna keep the integrity of the plank without arching through the lower back, okay? The focus is on the glute here, squeeze that glute. Last 30 seconds, then we're done. Here we go. Three, two, and go. So nice, strong plank. Straight line from head to tailbone. Then we lift and squeeze the glute. Breathe. Awesome. Good work, ladies. Last 10. 
Squeeze that booty. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. Whew. Make sure you stretch, 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 stretch your glutes. All right, that was our low impact leg day. I loved it. It's good to do those every now and then and um, target those different muscles that we're used to doing on a more intense leg day. Um, the older I get, the more I value the slow and controlled and very conscientious and deliberate movements over the kind of wham, bam, thank you, man, get it done movements. So definitely listen to your body. I hope that this really served you today. Um,